Hello farmers and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is early morning here in Nigeria. So I don't know where you're watching me from, but I know you definitely click on this video because of what you want to learn or because you got a notification or because you loved my video. I want to take this little moment to appreciate every one of you for loving my video and for viewing, for subscribing to our YouTube channel and for also liking the video and also sharing with others. Most of my fellow Nigerians that are in diaspora, whenever time they call me, they do be like, oh, Simeon, we loved your video. We like what you're doing. We do this, we do that and some we even tend to play the video like I'm watching your video right now as I'm calling you as I'm talking to you as we speak I'm watching your video you can hear yourself out and a lot of people would still play the video for me to hear on phone with them so I so much appreciate for all the love for all the commendation for everything you've been doing to encourage me I so much appreciate and it's actually helping me to do more of the video so thank you so much don't let it stop subscribe to our YouTube channel if you are new here there's a lot to learn and also turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified immediately we we'll drop a new video so today I want to talk about important uh, topic when it comes to catfish farming you know, uh, it is something I have to deal with because I've been getting uh, several questions or let me say a discussion on. And most of the people that discuss this thing with me usually make mistake. Yes, they make mistake. And you know, I cannot drop a video for you on YouTube if it is not relevant. So I have to bring you something that you can, you know, think something you can listen to and also apply it to your own farming so last year i dropped a video that talks about uh, five ways you know five good ways of treating your catfish when they are sick if your catfish are affected with one sickness or the other five good way you can treat them and out of them i mentioned something like a salt solution i mentioned the one of uh proclaim penicillin uh, and lot more formalin and lot more that I talked about which are five you can watch you can still see the video at the end of this video don't forget to click on it you can still learn something from there so out of those five things people are making mistake in one of it yes I talked about the tetracycline and the proclaim penicillin so people are making a whole lot of mistake on it and i don't want to be on a bad side that is the reason why i come out to lecture you more on the tetracycline the uses of it on a non tetracycline is not healthy for human consumption and most of the people that are into this farming they do advise people to use it less you use it at a minimum level not a maximum level because I told you to use it doesn't mean you should use it all the time. I have a lot of people, that, some people even come to me, I've been using it for three days, I've been using it for four days, I give them time to time, I give them every day. That is not how I taught you to use it. I said, if your fish, maybe they are eating one kg of feed in a day, after buying the Proclaim, after buying the Tetracycline, take two capsules. Two capsules is enough to go. I'm not saying two sachet, two capsules of that tetracycline. It can go into that one kg of feed. Or rather, take three or four is still enough if it is something they are going to consume once or consume within that day. Two or three capsules is enough. Mix it with their feed. Put the proclaim, mix it with their feed. After you mix it with your feed, or you use the uh white capsule i've forgotten the name uh, it's something similar to that that i clean too so you use the white capsule instead of the proclaim it works together so mix it with the feed you are going to give them at once or twice in a day if they take it in the morning in the evening you will still give it to them even that feed mixed with that medicine alone will be bitter for them so that is why you don't need to be giving them all days so please i am begging you proclaim 
penelessly or tetracycline is not something you are going to be giving your fish every day if the situation is critical repeat it the second day if the situation is not critical just once in a day like morning and in, in the evening is enough don't repeat it the second day don't repeat it the third day please get it from here and stop making mistakes i myself personally want to be on a safer side i don't want the situation whereby you'll be saying i get this idea from auditor farm and to the person taught me to do this thing look at the repercussion you understand i want to be on a safer side too so please maintain the way you use the medicine now i told you that if your fish belly has swollen you can also apply that to them right did you know that it is not all swollen stomach for fish i'm talking about fish did you know that it is not all swollen stomach actually mean your fish are sick a lot of us make mistakes i've got this text i've got this complaint severally every day it keeps on coming and i have to treat it here publicly so that everybody can learn from it let me give you this example is a kwashoko patient not different from a man who have a pot belly just like you are seeing it in this picture this one is sick but this man has a pot belly maybe due to fat or any other thing that is not relating to sickness and you can see that this man is healthy he's not getting leaner he's fat with his pot belly and this one is getting leaner with a protrude belly bringing it to your fish that is why i said it is not all fish that have pot belly are sick no not all fish if your fish have pot belly consider three things as the causes three things that may likely cause the pot belly one overeating two cannibalization and three which is the sickness it might be disease that is one overeating two cannibalization and three disease those three things will likely cause the swollen tummy you always complain about that your fish have swollen stomach they do this they do that now these three things now i will explain it and i will tell you the signs the reaction you are going to see the reaction of the fish and what we clearly tell you the picture you will clearly see that yes oh my fish this is what is going on with the fish before you apply what you want to apply to you so <laughs> the reason why I please keep on subscribing to this youtube channel there's a lot to learn here and there's a lot to teach each other if you have anything any idea you think i'm not giving it out or what i'm saying wrong you're free to correct me we're here to learn together i'm open to everyone you can this is my number up here you can just call me at any time text me if i didn't pick up or if i didn't reply you i might be busy doing one important things that i might not want anything to take my attention off it so please text me you are free to call me at any time at any day if you want to inquire something if you want to ask question whatever things you want to learn just slide to my dm let's talk together people who actually come to me you know they have a lot of testimony um it's not a pride but god is really helping us so let me first of all start with the first one which is overeating overeating is in situation whereby you give your fish feed and they so much love the feed they eat 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 and eat let me say it in one word covetousness like the fish are covetous they love the feed they eat it very well at the end of the day you will see them with a swollen tummy their body is going to be lean and their tummy is going to be big that doesn't mean your fish are sick it simply means your fish overeat the feed you gave them and when the feed digests not that the tummy will go flat immediately it will even take some days before it will go flat and when your fish are young like the one you are seeing on this video when your fish are young they will likely have that swollen tummy it is nothing to panic about they are going to have that big tummy no matter how you do it just like our kids we have at home 
when they are taking all this uh eat, eating their let me say junk food take this take that take goodies you know eat everything all together their tummy are going to be big but when they started growing bigger their, their tummy will be becoming flat except the one that is fat bringing out to fish when your fish are in all this smoking level juvenile level uh, whatever level at their younger age when they are between one to two months going to three months their tummy is going to be big their tummy will be wide open for feet but when they started growing bigger the tummy will be reducing and when they even get to some point the female one will tend to have a big tummy too because there will be eggs inside them so put all this thing into your idea so that you can know how to treat your fish if you feel anything is going on if your fish overeats and their tummy is swollen what are they going to do what are the signs you are going to see what are their reaction they have no other reaction than to be swimming around even if you give them feed they might not come to eat and if they eat they might not eat much because their tummy is already filled and number two thing you are going to see is their tummy will be big no matter how they appear and they are going to swim very well they will play they will go around they won't just eat much of the feed if you give them immediately or if you give them in the evening because they are over eating that is one two I told you it is cannibalization cannibalization in such a way that you don't feed your fish very well or maybe the fish are not uniform inside the pond you are keeping them and the bigger one tend i've talked about cannibalization very well much here on, on this youtube channel and uh, probably outside this youtube channel i've talked about cannibalization very well so cannibalization in such a way that the bigger fish you can see these two fingers this one is taller than this right this bigger fish eats this one because this one is starving and the mouth of this one is big enough to swallow this one and this one is tiny enough to penetrate to go through the mouth inside the tummy that is why this one cannibalizes this one because this one is starving so when your fish cannibalize each other the fish they eat inside of them will not digest or dissolve or decay inside them immediately it will remain there for something like three four five days maybe before the tummy will start to be coming down so this situation too is part of the swollen tummy you always complain about what are the reaction and what are the signs you are going to be seeing the first sign you are going to be seeing from the fish that cannibalize another fish with a big swollen tummy is it will swim especially those who have tarpaulin uh rubber basin pond concrete pond you can physically see it than the one of earthen pond the fish will come up it will swim come up it will be able to swim very well that is the first sign you are going to see it will be able to swim very well and secondly it will be coming up floating at the top side of the water you know it will just hang itself like this and you will see the tummy at the top side and you will think the fish is not healthy it's just because of what it has swallowed inside it that cost it so at the end of the day you will see the fish it will swim down if you beat the side of the pond the, fi the fish will swim down go down you won't see it again give it between five ten minutes it will still come up to relax it cannot swim well because it has cannibalized another fish that is the number two part of the causes of swollen tummy number three which is the basic one that you always panic on that is the sickness maybe they have one disease or the other that causes the swollen tummy of course this thing happens most of the time but before you can judge it or before you apply any medicine or before you start treating them or before you administer any drugs any medicine to them there are a few things to take note of one is your water healthy if your water is not healthy it might likely cause it two is there much oxygen inside your water if there is no much oxygen inside your water it might cause it and if oxygen is not inside your water that means your water is thick and thereby causing problem to the fish that are inside the pond three is your feed healthy the feed you are giving them what type of feed are you giving them is it a good feed and four what is the source of your water so put all this thing together they might be the case that may likely cause the 
swollen tummy or maybe be the root of the swollen tummy your fish are having so what are the signs you are going to see just like the picture you are seeing on the screen their body is going to be scratching and side of their tummy or their skull or side of their fin will be getting rotten that are part of the disease and part of their mouth here will be having white patches all the taste may be having white patches this case is likely to be a kind of bacteria that is affecting your fish if they are having all these white patches or they are likely unhealthy inside the pond and you are seeing swollen tummy or their skin is peeling or scratching then the, your fish are sick that is part of the sign and another sign you can see is they are going to be dull they won't swim well they won't eat well they won't swim well they won't eat well those are the signs you are going to be seeing they are going to be dull fully dull and they won't swim well and four they are going to be hanging the same then they won't hang like a uh, turn their tummy like i talked about the one of cannibalization they won't turn their tummy they will just come and be hanging at the top side you can see the water here so they will just come and hang straight like this if you build this thing they will gently swim down and come back again within two minutes hang again or you'll be seeing them at the corner of the pond going to one place or the other to hang your fish are not healthy something is likely wrong with them either your water is not good or something somewhere is wrong with your fish maybe the feet maybe something else but something is definitely wrong with your fish so you have to find solution to it immediately so what are the treatments you can do to such thing if you are having your baths like rubber basin tank or you have the tarpaulin or you have the concrete pond the simplest thing i would advise you to do is first of all think about salt the uses of salt is very very much important people do tell me that you always talk about salt salt kills salt kills fish of course salt kills fish but when the volume of salt you are applying to the volume of water is low it will not kill your fish but if the volume of the salt you are applying to your water is higher than the level of water than the volume of water you have inside the pond it will definitely kill your fish that is what I'm saying. I cannot, I can't really tell you that you should use this thing. If you come to my DM, I'll ask you, what is the size of your pond before I'll be able to recommend how many kg of salt you are going to use. You can say your pond is big. The water volume might not be much. That is the reason why all of you keep on asking, what is the volume of water? I cannot tell you until I know the volume of your water, until I know the size of your pond until i know how you change the water often until i know everything until i ask about the disease i can't just tell you do this thing a doctor cannot prescribe drugs from you from house he will have to examine you in the hospital ask you questions to know what is the rudiment of the problem before they even carry out tests and also give you the prescription so i can't just tell you the volume of what you want do this put this thing so, so size and size i might get your fish killed and at the end of the day, the, the blame will be on me. So I have to be frank with you. If you need my help in this area, just dial my number or text me on WhatsApp. We are going to discuss and we will sort it out. No more than that. So consider using salt first because salt will go down, penetrate into the water and neutralize, at least help you neutralize whatever thing that is happening inside the water. Then you can later on treat the fish. Like I told you, if you are going to use the tetracycline and the propylene, please use it one time, maybe once or twice in a day and not throughout in a week or three times in a week. If you have to do it two times, if the situation is critical, use it two times. If it is not critical, then use it one time. But if you have to do with the mouth that has uh, patches or the scratches in their body, maybe their body is peeling, you can easily use the Kepruseril 
I do advise most people, I do tell them to go buy it. Although it's a little bit scarce in the market, but I know you can still get it because a lot of people in the states that have called me, they have already, I do tell them to go buy them, but they usually find them. So you can get it too. You can get the capucel reel, then reduce your water into the lowest level. But please let me know if you want to do stuff like this so that I can still advise you on how to use it very well. Lower your water. Uh, divide the this thing into the level that will best suit the size of the pond you have but if you don't know it please come to my DM with the size of your pond so that I can know how to treat your fish with you so after you reduce it to the lowest level like you will be seeing your fish swimming inside water with your blind eyes the water won't be at their top it they will be it, the fish will just be on top of the water but there will still be water inside your pond you can dust the capricari inside the pond or rather mix it with small water before you pour it inside your pond that is an antibiotics drug so after you do that, leave them for something like two hours. After two hours, fill the water maybe to half level of the pond. Then the second day, top the water to the highest level. Leave the water until it's time for you to change it. If you change in two days, then leave the medicine like that until you change it in two days. It will not kill them. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. So don't just rush. Not all situation of swollen tummy takes uh, tetracycline or whatever it is i know this video is long but we have to learn together just to perfect things so i won't go beyond this level if you need my help please don't forget here is my number you can reach out to me text me on whatsapp and also call me whenever time you need me i am not a veterinary doctor i'm not uh, a doctor maybe a uh, human doctor whatever it is but this is my line this is my business this is what i've been doing for almost nine years now if i should calculate so this thing is part of me it is what i'm doing every day so uh my name is simeon o james thank you for watching my video thank you for liking this video if you really love it and thank you for sharing this video with other people who need it don't forget to subscribe